With the free version of the Jet Form Builder plugin, it's now possible to create a front end registration form with email confirmation. Here how it works. After the form is submitted, the sender will receive a link in their email, the one that they filled in the form. Clicking on this link will activate their account. This process is very useful for preventing fake or mistyped email addresses. So now let me show you how to create one. So we're going to go to our dashboard, Jet Form Builder, Add New. First, let's name the form. So I'm going to name it Sign Up with Email Verification. Next, I'm going to select this hidden field and delete it because we don't need it. Now I want to add four more fields alongside the text field we already have. So I'm going to select this text field to make sure that all the fields I'm about to add will be placed below it. Then I'm going to click the plus icon to reveal the widget library. And I'm going to scroll down to the text field and I'm going to click once to add it for the email, another one for the password, another one for the confirm password. And lastly, we're going to add a checkbook field for the remember me. Next, I'm going to click the hamburger icon to reveal the list view. Make sure that the first text field is selected. I'm going to go to the block tab, label, and I'm going to name it username. Now I'm going to go back to the list view. I'm going to select the next text field, again to the block tab, field label, and this time we're going to name it email. And I'm going to set the field type to email as well. Now I'm going to go back to the list view. I'm going to select the following text field. Again, to block, label, and this time it's going to be password. Now, we're not going to change the field type to password because there is a bug and it doesn't work. Hopefully, CocoBlock will fix this issue in the future. Okay? So now, again, to the list, I'm going to select the following text field. This time it's going to be confirm password. And lastly, we have the checkbox. So I'm going to select the checkbox. I'm going to go to the block tab. I'm going to go to form field name. And I'm going to type here, remember me. Then I'm going to go to the field. Make sure that the field options from is set to manual input and click manage items. Then I'm going to click again on add new option and the label is going to be remember me and the value is going to be one. Then click update. And we are done with the form fields. Now let's proceed to the jet form tab to set the post submit action. So currently by default, we have the send email action, but we want the verification action. So to do that, we can either open up this list and select verification from here. Let me just delete this one. Or we can click here where it says post verification and it will add a verification action. Just remember only one verification action can be added for each form. So once the verification is set, I will click this pencil icon to open up the customization pop-up. The first option we have is the link lifespan, which means how long does the verification link remains active in the email. By default, it is set to four hours, but you can change it to anything you want. If you're going to send it to zero or you're going to leave this field empty, that means that the verification link won't expire. I'm going to leave it at 4. So next we have the email field. Here I'm going to select the email field we created in the form. And now we have a toggle appearing. Create custom verification email. We're going to turn it on. And we're going to click add send email action. That will add a send email action to your post submit actions in the jet form tab. Now let's take a look at the send email settings. You're going to notice that some fields are already filled out. These are the important fields. Fields like mail to and form fields, don't change these. The subject is also filled out, but you can change it if you want to. And you can obviously fill out the rest of the fields. So for example, I'm going to set the content type to HTML. Next, we have the content field, which comes with a pre-made text that states, please confirm your registration on site with the site name macro. If this was a mistake, ignore this email and nothing will happen in B brackets, which means that this sentence is going to be bold. To complete the registration, click on the link. And this is the most important macro, the verification URL macro. So just make sure that it's here. Now, if you don't want to make any changes to the wording of this text, just go ahead and click update. Now let's go back to the verification customization. There are two more settings I would like to explain, the success page and the failed page. Here you can choose where users go after verification, meaning where do they go after they click the link they received in their email. If nothing is selected, they will go back to the form page. You might want them to go to a page like my account, which I don't have. So I made a page for the success page and a page for the failed page. You can also add a redirect to page action and send them wherever you want. Now that everything is configured, I'm going to click update. Next, I want to add another post submit action, this time for register user. So I'm going to click the new action and I'm going to select from the list register user. Then I'm going to click the pencil icon to go to the settings and we're going to start by mapping the fields. So the user login is going to be username, the email is going to be email, the password is going to be password, and the confirm password is going to be confirm password. We're going to scroll down. We're going to set the user role to subscriber. 
we're going to continue scrolling down and we're going to toggle on the login user after register. And in the remember me field, we're going to select the remember field we created. What the remember field does is when it's checked in the front end, the user will remain logged in for 14 days. If left unchecked, only for two days. So remember that. So when you are done, just click update. Now the final post submit action I would like to add is another send email. This time for successful registration. And I would also like to include in this email the login information. So let's do that. So I'm gonna click on the new action. It's already set to send email. So I'm gonna click the pencil icon to go to the settings. I'm gonna go to mail to and I'm gonna set it to email from submitted form field. The form field is gonna be email and the subject is gonna be your registration is complete. Then I'm gonna go to the content type and I'm gonna set it to HTML. And in the content field, I'm gonna paste a message I created with the help of ChatGPT. And to this message, I want to add macros. So we're gonna start at the top, dear username. Here we're gonna paste the username macro. So I'm gonna go to content. I'm gonna click the wrench icon. I'm gonna copy the username macro, control C to copy. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna paste it here. Next, I'm gonna go to your login details. I'm gonna go to username and here I'm gonna paste the same macro. Then for the password, I'm gonna go back to the wrench icon. I'm gonna copy the password macro, control C to copy. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna paste it here. And we are done with the macros. And of course you can add things and make changes. And when you are done, just click update. So when it comes to the post submit actions, we have the verification action that sends us this email with the link to verify our account. Clicking the link will trigger the register user and the send email actions. Okay, so that's what's gonna happen. Now, the last thing I wanna do before we publish this form is to scroll down to general messages settings, go to forms successfully submitted, and I'm gonna replace this text with please check your email inbox to complete the registration. And now we are done. So I'm gonna click publish. And let's add this form to Elementor. So I'm gonna switch to Elementor. And in the widgets tab, I'm gonna search for jet form and I'm gonna grab it and drop it into the container. Next, I'm gonna go to choose form. I'm gonna open the list and I'm gonna scroll down because usually the newest form is at the bottom. So here it is, I'm gonna select it. Now I won't be starting this form so we can proceed with checking it on the front end. So I'm gonna click publish and we're gonna preview this page using incognito mode. So now let's test if it works. So I'm gonna fill out the form and click submit. Now I'm gonna go check my email and as you can see, we received the verification email. So I'm gonna click to open it, and then I'm gonna click the link. And we have been redirected to the success page, and I'm logged in. Now I'm gonna go back to my email, to my inbox, and as you can see, we received our second email with the login information. So as you can see, it works. But we are not done yet. There is another feature I want to show you. In the latest update, Jetform Builder also introduced the ability to automatically generate a password. This means user can sign up without making their own passwords. They'll get the password in the second email. This makes the sign up process quick and easy. So now let me show you how to set it up. So I'm gonna go back to my form to the register user post submit action and I'm gonna click the pencil to edit. Now we need to make changes to the mapping. So I'll map the password field to secure unique token and we're gonna do the same for the confirm password, secure unique token. Also, I don't want to use the username field so I'll map the user login to the email field. And now that I'm done, I'm gonna click update. Next, I'm gonna go to the list view and I'm gonna remove the username and password fields since we don't need them anymore. Perfect. Now, the last change we need to do to this form is in the second email action. So I'm gonna click the pencil icon to edit. And in the content feed, we need to change the macro for the password. So I'm gonna scroll down. I'm gonna make this bigger. I'm gonna click the wrench icon, and this is the macro we need, the JetFont Builder Verification Token. So I'm gonna highlight, Control C to copy. I'm gonna go to the password, and I'm gonna paste it here. And I'm gonna click Update, and we are finished. Now I'm gonna update the form, and now let's check it in the front end. So I'm gonna switch to the Incognito tab. I'm gonna refresh. And now as you can see, we've created a single feed registration form without the need for creating passwords. How cool is that? So now I'm gonna fill out the email and I'm gonna check the remember me and I'm gonna click submit. Now let's go check our email. Here is the verification. I'm gonna click to open it and then I'm gonna click the link. I'm logged in. I'm gonna go back, inbox. And here is our second email. 
with the new password. This is the automatically generated password. Very cool. Great new feature by JetForm Builder, and it's free. So that's how you add a verification email to your registration form. So that's it for this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'm going to see you in the next one. Peace!